Hey guys, how is everything going? <clears throat> um, I'm a little nervous because I'm thinking about embracing the gray. I actually don't mind it, I just kind of want it more conditioned. <clears throat> so I kind of found this by Nice and Easy. Um, it's in 8S and it's called Soft Silver, so I'm, I'm a little scared. <clears throat> like what you see, dark is what I've dyed and it's just looking very, I don't know how to say it, off, I don't know. Because I didn't, what do you call it, I didn't go over this gray, I kind of just left that is, as is, a couple spots along here, did the Superman thing. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm thinking about going full on gray, see how long that lasts before I go back to like, light brown. Sorry, I just had a bowl of cereal. <clears throat> so, I kind of did a thing, Scott Barnes was having a sale and he was offering 50% off, so I made another two artists. Um, I seriously love, see that can be a thumbnail, <clears throat> I love his packaging and it was like, Sorry. I literally hate that sound. It's very sorry if it's very triggering. Um, this is the Atelier palette. I he at first called it the Glamazon palette, but I guess something happened, and then he switched it to Atelier. And this is, what do you call it, repurchases um, from two years ago, or a year and a half ago. Sorry, I don't want to blind you. There's only Drifty Star mirrors. But isn't this beautiful? Like, literally, brand new, never touched. Like, um, I don't know. It's repurchases, so I already know I love it. I really should have taken these out of the packages earlier. I'll tell you what, just wait. Okay, so they're out of their packages. Um, so I was just finishing up with the Italie package. So I got a repurchase of the Glowy and Showy palette. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, can I just say, wow. And I'm so sad because all of his products came out during the pandemic so I was stuck wearing a mask and all I did was do my eye makeup and I was seriously so sad I was just looking at my palettes and I'm like I would make sure like this part was like seriously um, highlighted to the gods and I was really hoping look check that out I was really hoping he would include the collector's case because this is the Mesmerize palette and that's a repurchase of course. Um, there's the back with all the beautiful names and the year and a half I had it, it still kept form. Like you would think the you know, I kept this. I didn't throw it away. I kept the palette in it. 
just to safeguard it. And it's so soft and luxurious. That's what you're paying for. And of course, the mesmerize. I don't know. There it is. Mesmerize. I already told you it's a repurchase. I should probably keep that. Just, oh my god. Isn't that beautiful? It's gonna be good for another two years. The only one I'm missing, I'm really sad, is this natural chew. I was a student at the time, so. <clears throat> And Scott didn't have afterpay at the time, otherwise I would have totally bought that palette. And of course, is this called XOXO? I can't remember. It's natural number one. And mine here, the one that I just gave away, was like low key dirty. But it's only because it was super low. I'm just so happy. So, so happy. <clears throat> and I got more bronzer, of course. So, I kind of got the... This bronzer. What is this one? Sicilian Sun. Oh, Bondi Beach. I got this one because he was crazy about it in the bronzing video. So I made sure to have both. And like he sent that in this bubble mailer just to keep it nice and safe. Like he is not kidding around. Um, I got the hollow bag. It's got the Scott Barnes on it. <clears throat> I don't remember him ever having like a 50% off sale. I'm not quite sure. I remember there was like 25% may, or 20% maybe 25 and then it started going up to like 30 you get 35% off. And I splurged and got some lashes. This one is Ava. Why does packaging make me so, what do you call it? Those are Ava's. I should have kept up. So, maybe, I don't know. And these ones is Ursula. What does it say about these? It doesn't say anything. They're just lashes. I finally um, started using my Jungle Gems. I am sorry, I will only use them once just because my eyes are super sensitive. This is the Tequila, excuse me, Sunrise. Tequila Sunrise. Beautiful packaging. Absolutely gorgeous colors. That's a repurchase. And I remember these when I splurged and got the Christmas Vault in 2019. I got the smaller versions of these. Isn't that cute? Comes with like a little protector. I'll just throw that in the garbage because it's just plastic. This one is platinum. Yeah. So beautiful. <laughs> that is not Scott's actual thumbprint, is it? Wouldn't that be funny if it was? I guess we'll find out. I feel like 
get a pad of ink and then put his thumb there. And, oh, it is actually your thumbprint. Oops. <laughs> okay, beautiful packaging. Like, seriously. I don't know if I should swatch that or not. I don't know. But I kind of wanted to play with them. I like having them all in hand. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was scared to get this. Like, seriously, it's the glosses. The Naughty List glosses. That were released in 2019. Wow. Beautiful. He is not getting around. Isn't that gorgeous? He even includes like glitter backdrop. That's amazing. Okay. So what do we have here? Shadow lover. I don't know if I should be swatching these. I don't know. I don't want to wipe them off, so I'm literally, like, I will be playing with them. It's, like, a beautiful, god, I should be wearing my glasses. Looks like a burgundy. Beautiful burgundy. Check that out. Right now, it's just unboxing. I'm not actually playing with them. Um, and this is... Stargazing. I don't know if the shade will translate, but it's beautiful. I love his iridescent glosses. Like, he just knows. He just knows. This one is Shanghai. Oops, I don't mean to blind you. It's like a... Oh, it's even worse than my glasses. Um, like an op opulent lilac. And then... Looks like another burgundy. Kind of like a red. You see the glitters in it? Oh my god. He included this all within... And this one is... Where did I say the last one was? Shanghai. This one was called Vixen. That was in the... What do you call it? Christmas Vault of 2019. You see the glitters? Oh my god. Wow. I hope this is all of them, but seriously, now I got like <laughs> 10. It's the only time I'll splurge. Oh. That's the nudes. And I'm gonna knock everything over. Okay. Please stop. I need like an actual lipstick holder. I'm just using like a Jeffree Star. What do you call it? <clears throat> it keeps falling over. Stop, please. Jesus. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be saying that. Okay, you could go over there right now. I'm like dropping everything here. I should have just left them alone. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever. 
Okay, so I could have sworn, oh, I hate my hair. I love my hair. It's growing out. Just accept it. Um, I could have sworn I had the maxed out mascara in my first order. And I found out I did not. And I was so sad. This is his brand new, new release maxed out mascara. And it's like a black. Good for six months. I'll just leave that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. And I'm going to open it just yet. And this is a repurchase. Well, <laughs> the travel, the Scott Barnes travel brush set. Oh my goodness. Seriously. And now I got one I could use when we travel places. And then I could leave one at home. Of course, it comes with the tra uh, travel powder. So all the all the names kind of rubbed off. The color wash, the angled smudge brush, um, highlighter. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about that. And travel blender. That one's amazing to blend out your shadows. So yeah, that was a repurchase. Ooh, another Scott Barnes body bling powder. Or as they said on the video, powder powder. There's the beautiful packaging. Take the tape off. Yeah, this one is in original. It's a lot darker, as you can see, more of my skin tone. And this one has, what do you call it? I love them because, ooh, oops. Okay, maybe don't shake it around. Okay. Well, it's got like a little protectant thing in it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's just from the protector. Is showing up. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I kind of went crazy. Thank God for Afterpay. Here is the other bronzer. I just gave the other one to my sister, and this one is in Sicilian Sun. <clears throat> Take it out of the packaging. Wow, isn't that beautiful? This sun is overspray. You basically, you can wipe it off with um, the 6-9 brush and then just wipe it all over your body. Um, and I kind of went crazy on the blushes. I didn't get all of them. Isn't that nice? It came in the little bubble packaging. I just got it. Okay, it takes too long. Good enough. Okay, so this one is called Plastic Pink, and it's got its own protector case. Check that out. Is that beautiful? Wow. These ones cannot go in the direct sun, otherwise they will lose their shape and color. How long is that one good for? 24 months, so I'll probably just stick it in my drawer. And this is so weird, but there's a yellow blush. I've got to like read up on how to... It's called Plumeria. I gotta read up on how to use it. A yellow blush, okay. And I swear to God, this is like a nice dupe for 
Dior's, the Dior pink blush. Because it looks just like it, right? What is this in the type? Uh, Ultra Pink. I'll actually stick those in my drawer right now. Sunlight always comes in here. Okay. I didn't think I got them. Okay. These are. Seriously? Did I buy two? I could have sworn I bought the orange one. Really? On the website it looked orange. And that's what I ordered. I ordered two look at me's. <laughs> wow, okay. So I accidentally ordered two look at me's, but I could have sworn the one was orange and one was red. Weird. It's so odd. Hmm. Okay. What else did I get? Um, that was part of the second order. Um, and then I got a replacement 6 9 brush. Pretty sure that's the replacement 6 9. <coughs> the highlighter brush, um, 66. The powder brush, 6-7. Pretty sure that's a powder. Yeah. And then the 6-8 brush, the dual fiber blending brush. I hope I didn't give any of my brushes away. And out of the small ones, I was only able to get the 6-1. And that's that one. It's actually really good. It kind of reminds me of... What do you call it? These ones are the brushes I were doing from a couple of years ago. But it kind of looks like it's a small 6-5 brush. And... I have the tulip brush, the blush brush, the 6 4 brush. I'm just missing, I think. Oh, yeah. I got this one. And that is the 5 9 brush. Let me just add it to that one. Which one am I missing? I think it was the 6 2. And the 60, but I could always replace those later. These are just backups. Like, I'll probably just have two of them because I love them so much. Like, seriously. I just can't get over that they finally arrived. Like, seriously. When I say I'm like, uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm obsessed. That's a rose gold. I don't know. It's showing up. It's really pretty. Now I got all three of the Pave powders. Um, the Shimmering Sands eye palette. This one is seriously amazing. It reminds me of a mini dupe for the Dior, what do you call it, Christmas Couture palette. And these are what I got so far, the liquid lips, look at me, where's the tea, bed of roses, and coins. 
now showing. Look at me. Where's the tea? Bed of roses and coins. Very nice. Very nice. I'll just leave that down for a minute. And out of that same order, I got the Flossy Gloss Glossy. See, these were all released at the same time. Flossy Glossy Summer Sizzle. Sizzle for Sizzle. This one, these are all clear glosses, by the way. This is Coral Cabana. This one is Blondie. He's actually got it in that too, a format thing, I, I think, too. And Crystal. This one, these ones, I think they're only, oh, I don't know, I can't remember. But seriously. Okay, if I'm going to try one right now. It would be Coral Cabana. Oh, you see that? They feel so moisturizing. So I'm kind of downing the water. Super thirsty. It just gives your lips like a nice sheen. If you're trying to do that no makeup makeup look, yeah. But I'm like seriously so happy. Oh my goodness. And that's I'm just gonna put this over here for a second. So I already got it. Let's put that there. I didn't give these away because they weren't back on the website. <coughs> Sorry. The Scott Barnes Contour Palette. I still kept the sleeves on it after two years. See, look at how dirty it is. I mean, it's not like dipped in. There's so much product in there. Not even funny. Um, I'll probably archive it once January comes along. And then the blush. He didn't bring this, this back, so I'm like, heck no, I'm not giving this away. Sorry. But it's like, it's loved. You can see how kind of dirty it is. And there's my original. And then color bone. He discontinued this, so January. This one's gonna be archived. Such a beautiful palette. I'm really sad that the only one I'm kind of missing is Natural 2. Damn it. Oh well. Sometimes it just happens that way. What do you guys think about using stuff past their expiration date? Like, if it's just on your face, do you continue using it? Or, like, when they start smelling funny, do you get rid of them? Oops. When I tell you I am a fan, I am a fan. Like, I've got all three body blings, platinum, rose gold, doesn't seem like that one got that much product like the other ones, and uh, original, is it really called? Yeah, original. It's like a 
tan, tan, tan brown, rose gold, body bling, I love this one because I don't think you're going to be able to see it, it just gives your body like a nice sheen, like a nice sparkle, and you kind of look like Edward. I think I've already used this one, Olivia, from a couple years ago. Fabiana. I think that one's unused. And Gina. Isn't that beautiful? Like, seriously. And I finally used my jungle gems. I just gotta like clean them, take off the adhesive glue. I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope I got everything. I can't remember. But like, seriously, I haven't played with my makeup in. I feel like weeks. I've just been kind of going crazy with work and just, oh, sorry. Literally, the, camp, the phone is like right beside the brush holder. I'm just trying to grab all of them. When I tell you I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of Scott Barnes and I'm just so happy to be able to, you know, invest in these. See, this is like after two years. They're still looking, well, a year and a half. Two years will be this January. Excuse the fluff. I just haven't used my brushes in a while. But you can see they're like... The names are starting to rub off. What is it? The color wash. Cut the 60 brush. Good for cream eyeshadows. He, when he sold them as a set, it's such a better deal. The tulip brush kind of reminds me of the mini this one. These two look very similar. The 6-4 and what's that one? 6-2. So that one I use for this one, the big one, I use for blush. This one I use for like crease. And then, let's see, like, the names are starting to rub off. This one's the Travel Angle Smudge Brush. You can only see, like, blah, blah, blah. The Travel Blender. Names are, like, totally rubbing off. I use, when I was doing makeup every day, that's why the, make, the labels are starting to rub off. This one reminds me of this one. Like I see, you see a pattern with his brushes. That one's the 6'6". Six, six. The little one is 6'3". This one I use for highlight. That one I use 
just to get the corner crease correct. And of course the liner, lip, contour brush. And then the beautiful 6-1, really good, um, what do you call it, for applying saturation color to your, what do you call it, your crease. You can also use it for your contour. The Travel Blend Highlighter Brush. This is well loved. Names are starting to roll off. This one, I just kind of let sit there, it's the 6H, the dual fiber brush. It's really good. It's good for like marrying everything together. Um, and the 6 nine, six nine brush, really good bronzer brush, it's good for um, adding the pottery powder on top of your body bling on your body. Yeah, it's just beautiful. For the longest time, my blender, foundation blender, was just Sigma VF15, and then it's starting to look really gnarly now, that's like since 2018. And this is since 2020, and it still looks good, like it's, you know, not, it's looking good. Here's your contour brush bronzer, uh, the 6.5 brush, that kind of reminds me of this brush, see it makes like a little tiny, makes a big one and a little one, this one is the 6.1, too cute, and then of course the 6.7 brush powder, oh my god, like seriously? If you treat yourself to one thing, it would be just do what you want. But within reason, I'm really happy. Thank you for watching. Bye.